Welcome to Caternix Corner. My name's Terry, and today we'll be discussing feed. Uh, probably the most frequently asked question I get are feed related. Uh, they want to know what is the uh, best calcium and protein levels. Uh, do they need a game bird starter, a grower, a layer feed? And the short answer to this is yes, in certain circumstances. Um, if you're just raising a few quail as pets, or all you raise your quail up for is for the meat pen and you're gonna butcher them, then a game bird starter is fine or a turkey starter is fine. You can raise them on that their entire life and they'll be just fine. But if you're raising quail for egg production or a specific breeding program, you really need to meet their uh, nutritional requirements by regulating their diet. Now most feed stores don't uh, stock the various types of or levels of feed. Uh, usually you can find a game bird starter or a turkey starter, but as far as maintainers or uh, grower or layer feeds, a lot of them don't stock them just because there's not a demand for them, a high demand for them. Uh, sometimes if you ask them if they can order it in, sometimes they will. Uh, other times they want you to order a specific amount a month on a regular basis. Um, so they don't waste their time, you know, bringing in food and it not being sold. And that's the biggest reason they don't stock the stuff is because they don't want this feed sitting around the warehouse, nobody buying it, feed gets old and gets moldy and they lose money. They end up dumping it out back somewhere. On every feed bag, there is a guaranteed analysis sheet uh, which shows all the ingredients in the feed and the percentage amounts. So with these tags you can actually blend your own feed uh, specifically what I do is the layer feed um, just by using these tags and I'll put a couple tags up on uh, online here so you can see them close up and follow along with me. Uh, some of the ingredients, well the two most important ingredients you're going to be looking at on the tag will be the calcium levels and the, the protein. Um, everything else, a lot of that stuff you've never even heard of. Um, there's lysine, methionine, phytase, phosphorus. Um, the first two are amino acids that help to ensure uh, nutrition and flock uh, performance. The phytase is an enzyme that breaks down the phytates which allow for better absorption of the grains. So that's uh, uh, another one that helps in flock nutrition. Uh, calcium and phosphorus aid in bone and eggshell development. So those two are pretty important. Um, the reason you wanna mix your own feeds or come up with a, a layer blend that you're gonna use for your layers is a lack of calcium uh, can be pretty much detrimental to your flock. Um, lack of calcium can cause uh, osteoporosis, skeletal disorders, and uh, soft eggshells. Uh, too much calcium, on the other hand, can cause calcium deposit on eggs and powdery looking eggs, which is basically just an excessive amount of calcium on the outside of the eggs. A lot of times you'll see an eggshell, you'll get one egg that'll be nice and clean and clear and shiny all the way around and the next one's real dull and uh, almost powdery looking. Um, that's uh, a sign of too much uh, calcium. Uh, your starter feed, as far as protein is concerned, you want anywhere between 24 and 30 percent protein. You want a higher level of protein because these young birds are growing fast and they need that protein to help them develop feathers, to help them build strong muscles, strong bones. Um, if you've been in with quail for a while, you know how fast it's like every day, it seems like they double in size. So protein levels are very important in a starter feed. Calcium levels on the other hand, don't need to be as high. Uh, on your average, your calcium levels for game bird starter is gonna be uh, about 1% on the low end and 1.5 on the high end. So on an average, it'll be 1.25%. Okay, and for your hens, protein is not near as important as calcium. 
Protein between 18 and 22% is perfectly acceptable, uh, but your calcium levels you want to target right around 2.5%. Now in this uh, uh, layer formula, it's 16% protein and 3.5% on average calcium, which is a little high on the calcium and a little low on the protein. But you can blend these feeds together to get you closer to your target uh, formula. So if you were to take one part game bird starter and one part layer, mix them together, you've got a 30% protein and a 16% protein. That is going to give you 46 total, but you're going to divide that by two because you have one part of each. So 46 divided by two will give you a 23% protein level, average protein level in your feed. Uh, now for calcium, this has an average of 1.25% calcium and an average uh, over here is 3.5% calcium. So if you added those two together, you're going to have 4.5% total calcium. You're going to divide that by two, which will give you an average of 2.3% calcium, which is pretty close to what we're looking for. Um, that would be perfectly acceptable. 2.3% is close enough to 2.5%. Um, if you wanted to lower your protein even more, you could go one part game bird starter and two parts of the layer, which is going to give you, uh, let's see, one at 30, two at 16. Well, two at 16 is going to be 32, so add the two together. That's 62. And now you're going to divide by three because we have one part here and two parts here that's going to give you a total of 20.6 on the protein. So that's in that perfectly acceptable range. If you wanted to raise the calcium levels even more, you could do one part game bird starter at 1.25 plus two parts of the layer at 3.5 for a total of 8.25. Divide that by three because you have one part of one, two parts of the other. That gives you a total of 2.75, which is still in the acceptable range. You might ask, why can't I just use a oyster shell calcium supplement? And you can. You may have to grind that up a little bit. Uh, the pieces are a little bit too big for quail to ingest, but that is perfectly acceptable. You know, fill a bowl up, throw it in their cage, and let them free feed on that. They'll only take what they need, so you're not going to overfeed it to them. But you're still at the high protein content of the game bird feed should you choose to stick with this. Uh, my biggest issue with the Game Bird Starter is cost. I pay almost twice as twice for the Game Bird Starter as I do for the layer. So for me, it's a uh, it's a economical way of uh, lowering my feed cost by blending my own layer feed. So if you can't find a specially blended layer feed in your area specifically for Game Bird, uh, give this a shot. Go into your feed store. Look at the tags, uh, the guaranteed analysis tags, and uh, you can pretty much right there on the spot come up with a feed that is going to meet the nutritional requirements of laying hens. Okay, that's about it for this one, guys. I hope you found this information uh, useful. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Um, I try to answer every one of them. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell. You'll get notified when uh, we come out with uh, any new content. Uh, thanks for joining me, and we'll see you on the next one.